Leader Mitch McConnell now saying that he has the votes to set the rules for an impeachment trial in the Senate. He said he's ready to move forward without support from Democrats. Now, McConnell envisions that the trial would have two phases. The first phase would allow the House managers to make their case. It would allow senators to ask questions, but it would not include any witnesses, as Democrats have requested. McConnell said he's ready to do that and move forward. Back over to you. Does this mean that potentially in a second phase there would be a second vote? Where, where they could allow witnesses to come forward beyond those witnesses who were, who were uh, interviewed uh, during the House inquiry? Uh, quite possibly. There are a number of Republican senators who have said that they feel that they may decide to hear from witnesses later, but they need to hear the case from the House in its entirety first. So they're sort of punting on that decision, uh, but saying that they want to get started. They want to um, agree on the guidelines for how this will be presented before the Senate. So McConnell saying that he so, can move now on phase one and sort of punt the question on witnesses until later. But, but Democrats had wanted that to come at the very beginning. Well, the, but my question then, the natural one is, is this going to be enough to pry the, those impeachment uh, articles out of the House and from uh, Speaker Pelosi? That is a very good question. We do not know the answer to that yet. Pelosi had said all along that she did not want to turn over the articles until she had an idea of what the Senate trial would look like. If the Senate trial and sort of the terms of at least the beginning of the Senate trial is now set, what type of leverage does Pelosi have over that second part of a trial? That's a big question, but certainly it seems that McConnell is willing to move forward on a partisan basis. He said he's willing to depart from uh, what happened during the Clinton impeachment when there were 100 senators who voted on the guidelines for that trial. He's willing to move forward with just Republican votes, and he says that he can do it. And this whole process has basically been moved forward uh, on party lines.